Hello and welcome back. We are at turn 6, right where we left. So let's start again with bombarding of this fortress. And here I'm testing out if I can do any damage to it. And it turns out I cannot. But at least they're out of ammunition now. Yeah, and in the thaws, the routine continues. Weaken them. And then we go in. And this is actually quite annoying here. Let's take a look. There's already artillery there and there are a lot of mountains here. Um, luckily, uh, well not luckily, on purpose I brought my Gebirgsjägers for that. Uh, and the Wolframan and reinforcements are going to arrive and the Luftwaffe. Um, I hope we can deal with that soon. But you will see, uh, this will be a hard fight. Maybe the hardest fight on the whole map. But yeah, we will... We'll see about that in a moment. In the meantime, we are preparing to surround Stalingrad. Yeah, now we see what we're up against. You have to secure the river crossing. Well, there is no crossing, but... We have to secure the river in order to cross it. And... Yeah. Another option for doing this is bringing bridging engineers yeah and this northern a uh, group is um, attacking moment, let's take a look is attacking this bridge in the north um, the task is always to cross the Volga and yeah you you can bring bridging engineers um, I'm not sure, but I think with them you can cross the Volga anywhere. But don't count on that. I never play with them. Uh, but for sure you can make crossing the Don a lot easier and speed up things. But yeah, the bridging engineers were in Panzer General, I think. The best infantry unit of all, so it was worth uh, buying them at any rate. Um, but in this version they are not good fighting units. So I'm not too sure about substituting one of my frontline infantry units for, for a bridging engineer. Ooh, we very lucky here. Um, fortunately we landed in the hills. Well. <laughs> Not fortunately, on purpose, Rafteren helps in the defense. But they are not waiting to get attacked. Yeah, and things happen a little bit fast here. At least we got Baku now. So this operation yeah, ran very smoothly. But there are counterattacks everywhere now. So we have to secure our flanks first. Yeah, and I didn't want to stop. Um, so here, this Sherman tank um, has anti-air capability, so we can do nothing with our fighters here. 
And yeah, this is a very strong opposition because we have nothing there that can deal with it. Um, yeah, I think, and that's what I'm going to do is bring in a level bomber, suppress it and then deal with it um, with the infantry because of the rough terrain, they should be able to take them out. But obviously we have to reinforce them. Yeah, and in the hills, or generally in the mountains, in, in rough terrain, um, units have more air defense, I think. So it's hard to hit them there. And still, do they don't have any ammunition, <laughs> we have to keep the, the Gustav here. It's kind of a waste, but there's no way around it because it's a victory location. Yeah, withdrawing our Fallschirmjägers and wow, well, <laughs> that's that's what I call heavy defenses around Stalingrad. Yeah, and our Luftwaffe is very busy. And we have to force our way across the river here. Because at the river we are in an unfavorable position. Yeah, and no success here. Uh, one moment, I have to... Yeah, back again. <laughs> I had to sneeze, so... Yeah, movement for the Flammpanzer, not too sure about that. Wow, oh, that was a big hit, 6 damage on the infantry, so now we can begin to storm. Yeah, this is a lot of anti-aircraft guns here. Fortunately, they are very weak against infantry. And on the river, they are no danger. Yeah, but this defensive array, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's kind of a death ground for infantry here. Fortunately, those counter attacks um, are to our favor. The same here, but. Now they are sending in their mountain units. That's bad news for us. And yeah, we still have to break the thousand defenses here. It's a little bit tricky because of the river. Um, so bridging engineers would definitely help. But this are only conscript so we should be able to crash those forces very quickly and in the south the Fajam Jägers are making their way back up so we can secure those targets I think with ease so our only worry at the moment is Stalingrad itself yeah now it's done we can bring in our 
railway gun now for the attack on Stalingrad. And now we should be able to bring those forces around too. So everything goes according to plan. And again, you have to be careful. Um, there are always counterattacks can happen. Uh, we found one. Yeah, and like I said, one moment. Um, I don't consider cheating. Um, to send out your planes like this because yeah this this bomber can do nothing um no targets for it so the best thing you can do is scout and not bring them near any of the cities because it will get shot down so even if there are no tanks there you should absolutely do the same thing like i did here it's just um yeah good playing and always use all you can for scouting. Yeah, now we should break this one. Yeah, Knights Cross. And now we can bring our artillery to beer and These are close quarters here, so surrenders should happen here. And I decide not to do it. Yeah, no. We are kind of in a dangerous spot here. So one moment, let's stop again. There's a lot of back and forth here. Um, I decided not to bring in the Falsch Amigas because even in, in close terrain they have no chance against the Sherman. Um, so we need to suppress it with the level bomber first. And yeah, here I bring in all my aircrafts to clear out this situation because we are very heavily outnumbered here. So let's see what the Russians do. Still a lot of forces here. Fortunately, they are concentrating their artillery fire. Yeah, and again, counterattacking. Fortunately, we prepared a lot of defensive artillery traps. Yeah, and that's annoying. Um, they didn't take the city like I expected. They straight go went for the Nebelwerfer, the Wolframen. So now we have a problem here. The Gebirgsjägers are more or less on their own now. Yeah, supported from the air, but in the mountains, that's not exactly the biggest help. Yeah, now they are suppressed, hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, now we can deal with it. It still hurts, but we can do it. Yeah, and here at Stalingrad, it's about stalling the situation, um, destroying the reinforcements and the counterattacks, till our other units are in position. Again, yeah, as always, the Flam Panzer is a great addition.
and it's more or less an infant uh, artillery battle here. Unfortunately, our heavy tanks are strong enough to, yeah, take some hits from from the enemy artillery. They are not even targeting them. And we have to be careful. And we have to get rid of this artillery very soon. Fortunately, those anti tank cannons have a bad vision range. And keep grouped up here. And keep the artillery protected. No, nothing can breach here because there is a zone of control. Yeah, those are very heavy anti-tank cannons. Yeah, and slowly but, but surely, um, yeah, we are reducing their forces. But we still have to sort out this situation here. Yeah, Knights Cross, uh, well, they well deserve it for their battle, for the lonely battle, actually. Spotting for the Fallschirmjägers, yeah, that's useful, because they are very often operating on their own. And they reinforced, so that's a bad situation here. And still, this is a problem. We cannot hurt them. Fortunately, we have those Romanian and Hungarian units here. Ragged defense, that's great. And there's the elite infantry forces in the back. Arts units. Yeah, and our Fashion Migas are doing a great job here. I'm concentrating on the tank because with the artillery in place. Um, those infantry units are more or less useless now. But the stocks <clears throat> not great against infantry.
Yeah, and slowly but surely we are forcing our way in. Not much they can do about it. But very important to take those hexes. Um, there's a defending artillery here. So we cannot storm those two targets. So that's the reason why I'm detaching a lot of my forces uh, to this Volga crossing here. It's a victory location anyways. It's Astrakhan, so one of the yeah of the goals of the German offensive. This is how far they plan to go. And yeah, those are too weak to crush them, so they need support from this force here. So we are dispatching another group. Yeah, now we are running out of <laughs> ammunition as well. Um, movement for the plane, well. Fortunately, those planes are going to work now. Yeah, and too many artillery pieces here. Unfortunately, they're counter-attacking a lot. That makes the job for us quite a bit easier. Um, now there's no artillery defense here. That's a lucky break for us. Now they're helpless and we can, <clears throat> we can go in. And even the railgun arrives now. River boat is gone. And Astrakhan is not defended very well. So we easily could take the bridge. And this, this Duka saves the day in the Thaus. So the Russians are pretty much collapsing everywhere now. Yeah, and every bit of damage helps.
And I think this group will be too late. Yeah, they're pretty quick. So... At least this tank should do some work now. But still the rear guard holds. But their problem is mainly that our artillery now is in range. We can suppress them. Yeah, and that's it in the thaws. Fortunately, the Romanians are very helpful this time. Um, they are very cheap to reinforce and they're doing a great job. Yeah, I'm deciding. It's time to finish it. And now is the time to strike. Those guns are not a danger here, because they cannot attack against this one. This heavy artillery piece would wreck them. Looking for more hidden units, but fortunately there are none. Um, it doesn't hurt to scout anyways. Yeah, now their morale is collapsing, surrenders so everywhere. And the theater defense is gone. The riverboat will be gone too. And we don't want to take Stalingrad itself because it will trigger the victory condition. And we do want to get them all.
Yeah, that's it. The Fallschirmjägers have finished their job in the Thas. Yeah, plus attack, that's good. So now there's only this mountain unit left. And I'm sending in some tanks to deal with them. Like I said, we want to get them all. Every bit of experience might matter in the end. Yeah, and for that reason, we are wanting them to reinforce. So every target we get is a good thing. At least the artillery will gain experience. And we might get some prestige out of it as well. No. But there's still quite some prestige left. It seems they can afford a lot of units. Yeah, and we keep up the same routine now. Um, cycle planes here. And that's it. So, for the last few turns, we are going to shoot at reinforced units so nothing is going to happen here Yeah, this time it's only one. <laughs> one again. And we have one turn left, so let's see what they bring up for the last turn. The ammunition is perfect. <laughs> one turn left, one shot left. Yeah, again. They're out of prestige now. So. Let's take the city and that's it. So I think that should have given you an idea how you could do um, a decisive victory. 
I cannot look at how much turns you have to be early, but I think we could have done it um, at least on the non Guderian missions. And we didn't exactly go for total speed here. So yeah, if you do it like this and yeah, take a little bit more risks, you can be a few turns quicker and that should be enough to do it. So see you at Kursk and yeah, have a nice day. Bye.